one interesting property about ncr is this if you have ncr is equal to n by r into n minus 1 cr minus 1 so you can even see that directly also okay um, so I, I think I, I should give you one example here let us say I want to see what is 10 c 3 we know that it is 10 factorial divided by 10 minus 3 factorial which means 7 factorial into 3 factorial right so which is nothing but if I write it uh, in in normal you know if I cancel out 7 factorial from that so if I write 10 factorial as 7 factorial into 8 into 9 into 10 divided by 7 factorial into 3 factorial as 3 into 2 into 1 so it is nothing but 8 into 9 into 10 divided by 3 into 2 into 1 right so just keep this in mind why I discuss this one is I'll tell you I'll tell you by the end okay just keep this in mind this is one way to write 10 c3 so one way to write 10 c3 is from 10 you go down for three terms from 10 you go down for three terms and you expand three factorial so that is how we can find out 10 c3 now let's see how why this formula is important which one ncr is equal to n by r into n minus 1 c r minus 1 first of all let's verify if it is really true or not if you have ncr it is nothing but n factorial divided by n minus r factorial into r factorial right now from numerator i want to pull out n as common then what do i get from numerator if i pull out n as common i can write it like this n into n minus 1 factorial divided by n minus r factorial and from denominator i want to pull out r that is the reason i want to write it as r minus 1 factorial into r which one r, r factorial i am writing r factorial as r minus 1 factorial into r so from numerator i will pull out n and from denominator i will pull out r therefore i am going to get n by r and after pulling out n by r we are going to have n minus 1 factorial here divided by right so once we pull out n minus r factorial what is remaining here n minus r factorial into r minus 1 factorial right so i'll do a small modification here if you are if you are watching it see this in this place i'll just do a small modification see this one n by r into small manipulation without without altering the value then it will be in a known form n minus 1 factorial divided by here here i'll write minus 1 and here i'll write plus 1 n minus 1 minus r minus 1 factorial so see this n minus r factorial is written as n minus 1 minus r minus 1 factorial which means n minus r is equal to n minus 1 minus r minus 1 so these two terms are actually same n minus r is equal to n minus 1 minus r minus 1 these two are same right factorial into r minus 1 factorial now if you observe this one it is nothing but n minus 1 c r minus 1 check that if you see this entire entire expression this is nothing but n minus 1 c r minus 1 why we are getting n minus 1 factorial divided by n minus 1 minus r minus 1 factorial into r minus 1 factorial therefore i can write it as n by r n by r into n minus 1 c r minus 1 simple got it therefore it is true what is it ncr can be written as n by r into n minus 1 c r minus 1 it is it is true now what is the implication of it so why is this one important so let's see how to write 10 c3 10 c3 can be written as n by r n by r is nothing but 10 by 3 into n minus 1 c r minus 1 9 c3 got it and how can you write 9 c3 10 by 3 into 9 c3 is nothing but 9 by okay this is r minus 1 which means 2 right so 9 by 2 into 8 c1 getting this and what about 8 c1 how can you write 8 c1 it is 10 by 3 into 
9 by 2 into 8 by 1 into 7c0 and we know that 7c0 is 1. Okay, how do we know that? See this. 7c0 equal to 7 factorial divided by 7 minus 0 factorial is 7 factorial into 0 factorial which is nothing but 1. Right? Similarly, 7c1 is equal to 7 factorial divided by 7 minus 1 factorial which means 6 factorial into 1 factorial which is 7. So remember this nc0 is equal to ncn is equal to 1 and similarly nc1 is equal to nc n minus 1 equal to n. These two are most frequently occurring border cases therefore you know try to remember it. Now now I told you that this is 1 so you can ignore this therefore 10 c3 is equal to 10 into 9 into 8 divided by 3 into 2 into 1 of course it is true isn't it 10 c3 is equal to 10 into 9 into 8 divided by 3 into 2 into 1 so one other way to get it is that way right. So if you want to expand it out you can simply expand it out like that okay. So, you know, while simplifying, these, these uh, formulas might come into use and even in problems, I will tell you where we are going to apply them. Fine.